Last night when I was getting prepared and the Lord spoke to me that I'm, I'm going to go this way today, I just knew that somebody is about to come out of a dry season. Hello. Especially in these days that the message of your helper is coming, you need helpers, listen to me, the greatest help you ever need is God. God is your help. Now hear me somebody. Until God helps you, no man will help you. God is the source of help. If there is any help rendered to you by any man, it is because God has chosen to help you. In the book of 2 Kings, the, Bible, the, the word of God said, the king tore his clothes and said, if the Lord does not help you, from when shall I help you? When the woman cried to him and, and said, help, O king. My king, help. My child has been eaten and the other lady that I agreed with to give her child has a, you know, disappointed. You need to do something. And the king tore his clothes and said, never you cry to me for help. <laughs> now, every time you look up to a man for help, you close your heavens. You close it. Many families today are under closed heavens because they are looking up to a man. Now, hear me. You can respect people, you can revere people, but never idolize a man. Never idolize a man. It shuts your heaven. <laughs> 98. I tied I did everything. Nothing happened. And the days were going by. Until, until I came to that year when God spoke to me and said, Hey, you got to remove your eyes from man. My God. My God. My God. If you must be blessed, look up to God. Everyone you trust is also looking up to God. Everyone you trust in is also trusting in God. So it's better you go straight. Put your trust in God. So every time you say you are looking up to man, it is man. It is not possible you are looking up to God and you are looking up to man. Yes, it's not possible to look up to man and you say you're looking up to God. Can I continue? Yes, <laughs> so that guy is from our village. He should look at their compound. Our own is in front of their own. <laughs> By doing that, nobody would like to help you. You know why? Huh? They will be like, if this guy is your brother, why won't he help you? He should be the one helping you. Why are you coming to me? So there are rich relations you should never talk about. They are talking about them. You just say, eh. Praise God. God has blessed that man. They ask you, is he from your village? I think so. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't tell them you go to his house and then you are, you know, we you discuss. Ah, yeah. You discuss with that person. You go to his house and you are like this. Other people that want to help you, we shut down. <laughs> now, hear this. Until God touches a man's heart, there's nothing that will move him. Am I talking to somebody here right now? We're talking about man here. Cause be the man that trusted a man. There is a way you so idolize a man. That God will say, hey, clear from the road. Let this man see me. God will clear him out for you to see him. But before it is late, it gets to that point, I pray for you that you take off your trust from him. Amen. And put it in God in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In my lifetime, my life is free of human references. That you will now say, if not this man. No. No. Do you know that God 
when he becomes your source, can choose to use anybody as a channel. Am I talking to somebody, somebody right now? He can use anybody as a channel. As a channel. As a channel. Today, I pray for 22 of you. From the word I had from God, may your heavens be open in the name of Jesus Christ. May your heavens be open in the name of Jesus. May your heavens be open in the name of Jesus. God can be using somebody in your life, but you choose not to trust in the person. Choose not to depend on him. Hello. Choose not to depend on him. You will not see shame. You will not see shame. Come alive, you will not see shame. Yeah.